Welcome to this week's Wellbeing Wednesday. In honor of International Women's Day on Monday and Women's History Month, I want to touch on a couple of tips and tricks and talk to the women out there. But of course, men, some of these skills and strategies are obviously important for you too. What struck me is that there's so much research that shows that women are significantly less likely to self-promote. Did you know as an employer that women are less likely to apply for a job if it means that they do not meet every single criteria? Men will apply even if they don't meet everyone and see what happens. Women are much more selective and wanting to make sure that they're not failing. And that's one of the things to talk about today is that do not be afraid to fail. Failure is an inevitable part of what's gonna happen. How many times have we heard that phrase, fail forward? So finding out that fact that the biggest risk oftentimes is the risk of not taking the chance, of not stepping forward. And it's okay to be able to take things step by step. We don't have to have every single piece figured out, but what can we control today? What can we approach today? So what we see for a lot of individuals as well is selling ourselves short. Well, I don't have that perfect. Or when we're communicating and being asked for something, feeling the need to say yes to every single thing because we don't want to be seen as lazy or not working hard enough. Or for many women too, balancing family and this year has put a completely different pressure on that. Feeling like I need to say yes to even more things so that I'm still present. So people know that I'm here and so that they don't think that I'm letting my family get in the way of my career. I want to make sure that I'm recognized and that I'm there. But also recognizing the fact that sometimes that also overconfidence, well, it's important and we want to have the confidence and I'm talking about that, but that it's also okay to ask for help. It doesn't look weak. If there's something that you have a question about, we see especially so many women that are sometimes afraid to ask for help because they don't want to see, be seen as incompetent or not being able to complete something. So not apologizing as much as well. So many women when we're sending email messages put qualifiers. Well, I just wanted to ask this question and realizing that fact of how are we presenting ourselves, recognizing the strengths that we have, being fair to ourselves, reducing that need to constantly discount or put that, recognizing that if we do need help, it takes strength to ask for that and not selling ourselves short. Be well.